out behind the apartment again. Uh, pretty big switch up today. I got my silver tip. Uh, no real reason other than the uh, the widow. The more I shot it, the more I shot broadheads, the less I began to trust that I was ever going to get consistent broadhead flight, which sounds silly. I know it didn't look bad, but I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I think that bow is just a tidbit too short for me. So, anyways, we're out here today, kind of reacclimating to the silver tip, shooting stumps. It's about 4:30. Wife just got home, so I decided to run out back real quick, and uh, just gonna have a good time out here. So, hopefully, find some stumps, maybe some leaves. Probably be pretty similar to the last video, but it's never not a good time. Okay, so old trustworthy stump right here. See how we can do. These are actually the same arrows I was shooting in the last video. Hoping my nose doesn't start bleeding on this video. Got to figure that out a little bit. I've been hitting my nose a lot lately. I'm pretty sure I'm turning into the string more than normal, but uh, we'll get it figured out. I'm still shooting good, so I'm not too worried. One thing I did notice when I started shooting this bow again, it's quite a bit quieter. All right, bring up, check those out. Sorry, just seeing if my nose started bleeding yet. Looks so, oh yeah, we're starting to get there. You guys might get to see a fun show. Alrighty, not too shabby. I shoot this bow a lot through the years, so it doesn't usually take me too long to get used to it. Okay, so we've sh we're shooting at that stump right there. You guys can't see, but I'm standing on a side slope. We're gonna be leaning over to get around this guy. So this is kind of technical. Get the blood off my nose real quick. A little to the left, still hit the stump. Alright, that one was better. Oh. Right next to my second one, I'll take that. I really enjoy doing stuff like that. It's the type of stuff. It's the type of stuff you might end up doing in the woods and you never think about. We'll go take a peek. See, there is a ton of deer tracks back here lately. I think they're scavenging for food pretty bad these days. All right, as you can see, not the worst. It was probably 20 yards. So I have no idea how long this is. But way out there you have this long log. I shot at it last time. This is just a Hail Mary of a shot. Cause you know what? It's fun. Maybe you'll get some good arrow flight footage. Just going for middle of the middle. just over it. A 
hit the bottom of it. Right next to the last one, but uh, that was a pretty bad pluck. Nonetheless, those are always fun. Chances are low, but it's always a good time. Your vote. I don't know if that counts. I was kind of in the broken off part on the ground. I was shooting for uh, that little mark right there, so not quite. So just as a note, something I find that happens taking long shots like this is uh, you really want to see the arrow flight and you really want to see whether you hit it. So as you probably just saw from me shooting, I kind of jump off the string and look up. That's what I refer to as peaking and uh, long bombs. It's really hard not to peak. So just really focus on that spot and just get off of the string and try to focus on the spot until hopefully the arrow hits it and that may help. All right, I'm gonna have to point out which stump I'm shooting at in editing, but this is gonna be like close to 30 and I'll probably have to hold my bow almost horizontal. I'm gonna have to peek around this big tree and kind of shoot like this. So we'll see how it goes. Frickin' nailed it. Try it again. If you're wondering, snow's not very warm on the knees. Just to the left. At least I hit it on the first try. It's the one that matters. Oh, freaking blasted it. Freaking sweet. Hope you guys could see that okay. That was a fun shot. Changing it up with some old turkey tracks. As you can see, center punched it that last time. First arrow bounced off the side and the middle one back there, if you can see him, was actually my second shot, so pretty good. There's two stumps down here. Uh, you might not actually be able to see one of them, so they are directly behind, oh, it is right there. Sorry, it's really hard to do that. Uh, I'll just shoot at that one because the other one's behind the tree. Got a couple of branches here in my way. Just barely nicked to the top. Need to pick a spot better. That was decent. Give this another whirl. I'm gonna try to drop it down a few inches. Right off the left side of it, but pretty good. So, hit the stump solid on my second shot. First two glanced off this left side. Uh, so one thing I tend to be really bad about while stump shooting is I love shooting, you know, 20 plus yards. In the, uh, the bear hunt I'm going on is like, you know, sub 20. So I really need to focus on trying to shoot a few closer distances here and there. So whether I do it this time out, I don't know, but that might be a in the yard at the bear target type of ordeal, but just something to keep in mind. All right, we're shooting one of these two, depending on uh, what I shoot at, I'll circle it. Uh, going through this uh, branch in front of me. So this might get a little creative to get the clearance I need to get there. Just to the right. There's a lot of stuff in the way. Hit 
at it. I don't know how well you guys can see me, but... Two out of the three, I'll take it. These are a little far apart, obviously. One thing I want people to realize is when you do stuff like that, your goal is to shoot accurately, but the bigger goal is just to challenge, challenge yourself into a shooting position that you normally don't shoot in. All right, guys, last shot of the day, or last few shots of the day. Uh, like I was saying, just wanted to get out here for a quick shooting session. Still prepping for New Brunswick, and uh, I was feeling a little cooped up, so this felt good. So I'll throw three, three more shots down at this big old root ball up here, and uh, we'll call that a an evening here. Solid shot. Root ball is pretty hard, that arrow bounced out. All right, final shot of the evening. Just trying to make it a good one. Great shot. Hope you guys enjoyed the little special ending there with a the knock if it showed up good. Until next time, have a good one.